Hello, good morning, myself. I am BSR, Bot Lecturer. Today, our topic photosynthesis part 2 chloroplast structure and their pigments. What are the pigments are present in the chloroplast? So, directly, we are going to the structure of the chloroplast. Generally, chloroplast oval in shape, more number of chloroplasts are present in mesophyll cells. Anyway, look at here the chloroplast is surrounded by two membranes. The space present between the two membranes is called periplastidial space. The space is called periplastidial space. Inside the chloroplast, there a homogeneous matrix is present. That homogeneous matrix is called stroma. This stroma contains 70 S ribosomes mainly. Due to the presence of 70 S ribosomes, their protein synthesis takes place and which contain DNA, single circular DNA like a prokaryote. So that is why the chloroplast is a semi-autonomous cell organelle or it is also called a prokaryotic cell in a eukaryotic cell or cell within a cell due to the presence of their own DNA. Later on you take stroma, there in the stroma photosynthetic enzymes are present. Many photosynthetic enzymes are present in the stroma. Anyway, in the stroma, lipoprotein membranes are there. These lipoprotein membranes are extending from one end to another end. They are called thylakoids. At some places, the thylakoids are present one above the other. Stack of the thylakoids is called grana. So, grana thylakoids. They are grana thylakoids. But important thing, the thylakoid which contact one grana to another grana, this is the thylakoid is contacting one grana to another grana is called stroma thylakoid. It's a stroma thylakoid, important. You know, light reaction takes place in grana, dark reaction takes place in stroma. We will discuss later about that one. But important thing, look at here. Non appreciated regions and appreciated regions. Non appreciated regions means margins of the grana or ends of the grana. Margins of the grana or ends of the grana is called non appreciated regions. What is the mean of appreciated regions? Where one thylakoid is contacted with another thylakoid, that region is called appreciated region. Mainly photosystem 1 is present in non appreciated regions. Mostly photosystem 2s are present in appreciated regions. So this is the structure of chloroplast. In the, you look at here, light reaction takes place in grana, mainly on thylakoid. Here, photosystem 1 and photosystem 2s are there. When you take the photosystem 1 and photosystem 2, photosystem 1 here, Two parts are present, antenna, antenna and reaction center. Here two parts, both in photosystem 1 and photosystem 2. In the antenna containing many chlorophyll AB molecules. Here also chlorophyll AB molecules. But when you observe the photosystem 1 antenna, there more number of carotenes are present. Whereas in photosystem 2 antenna, more number of xanthophylls are present. This is the antenna and upper part is reaction center. In the reaction center, only chlorophyll A is present. Here also chlorophyll A is present. Here the chlorophyll A absorbs the maximum light is about nanometer P700. Here the light absorbs the maximum light is about 680 nanometer. Hence it is called P680. It is called P700. Detail we will discuss further. But in the chloroplast, what pigments are present? The main pigment is chlorophyll. And some other accessory pigments are present. They are carotins and xanthophylls. So in the chloroplast, different pigments are present. Chlorophyll, carotenoids and phycobilins. These are the pigments in chloroplast. Anyway, in the chloroplast, the chlorophyll pigments are different types. Chlorophyll A, chlorophyll B, chlorophyll C, chlorophyll D and chlorophyll E. The chlorophyll structure when you observe, two parts are present, head part and tail part. 
the head is mainly made up of four pyrrole rings all these four pyrrole rings are arranged in cyclic manner look at here all these pyrrole rings are arranged in cyclic manner at the center magnesium atom is present that head is called porphyrin head whereas when you go to in the tail part 20 carbon phytol tail that is a 20 carbon tail that is called phytol tail esterifying with the fourth pyrrole ring that is the main point so then these chlorophylls, when you observe chlorophyll A and the chlorophyll B, the chlorophyll A color, blue color, it means blue green color, chlorophyll B is present in olive green color, that is in blue green, this is olive green. And the formula of chlorophyll A C55 H72O5 N4MG, whereas chlorophyll B formula C55 H70O6 N4MG. Here H72, here H70, O5, O6. Why, why the difference? Because when you observe in the chlorophyll A, especially in the second pyrrole ring, at the third carbon, methyl group is present. Whereas in the second pyrrole ring, at the third carbon, aldehyde group is present in the chlorophyll B. That is the main difference between chlorophyll A and chlorophyll B. And this chlorophyll A is present in all photosynthetic organisms except the photosynthetic bacteria. Whereas chlorophyll B is present in all higher plants and also in chlorophyceae algae. But the difference is chlorophyll B only observed in all higher plants and in chlorophyceae algae. Whereas chlorophyll A is present in all, 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 all photosynthetic organisms. Then go for chlorophyll C is present in Pheophyceae. Chlorophyll C is present in Bacillorophyceae. Chlorophyll D is present in Rhodophyceae algae. Chlorophyll E is present in Xanthophyceae algae. Then, other accessory pigments are there, carotenoids and phycobilins. When you go to carotenoids, these are yellow-orange in color. They are open chain compounds. That open chain compounds, larger group of compounds are called terpenoids. These carotenoids are two types, carotenes and xanthophylls. Carotenes are hydrocarbons, xanthophylls are oxygenated hydrocarbons. So the formula C40H56, there the formula is C40H56O2. These carotenes, lycopenes, alpha carotene, beta carotene, these are the examples. Xanthophylls, example, lutein and zeaxanthin. Then when you go for phycobilins, phycobilins are also like carotenoids are open chain compounds. But especially these phycobilins are algal pigments. There may be phycoerythrin and phycocyanin. Phycoerythrin, red color, phycocyanin is blue. The topic is nature of light. So light can be wave or particulate nature. The particulate nature of the light is called photon or quanta. You just observe the spectrum here. Cosmic rays, X-rays, fat UV rays, ultraviolet rays, then near UV rays. Then you observe 390 to 760 nanometers, this is the visible light ring. That visible light ring is called PAR, photosynthetically active radiation, 390 to 760 nanometers. Then you go for near infrarays, then far infrarays, then radioactive rays. Mainly VIBGR, you just observe that can be 390 to 760 nanometers. But here important thing is, Energy in each photon inversely proportional to wavelength. Energy in each photon inversely proportional to wavelength. It means more energy present in blue light than red light. More energy is present in blue light than red light. It's an important point. Then when you go for photosystem 1 or photosystem 2, any photosystem, here two parts are present, the antenna and the reaction center. The antenna means their chlorophyll AB molecules, especially carotenes and xanthophylls are present. Carotenes are more in present in photosystem 1, xanthophylls are more in present in photosystem 2. Mainly this antenna absorbs the radiant energy and transfers the radiant energy to the reaction center. That process is called inductive resonance or resonance transfer. Okay, when you go to chlorophyll A of photosystem 1, Chlorophyll A of photosystem 2. Here chlorophyll A absorbs the maximum light is about 700 nanometer. Hence it is called P700. Whereas here the chlorophyll A absorbs the maximum light is about 680 nanometers. 
hence it is called p6 eat okay so why the chlorophyll a is absorbing not absorbing the light directly immediately photo oxidation or photo bleaching takes place so here the chlorophyll a from photo oxidation or photo bleaching protected by carotenes or xanthophylls so carotenes and xanthophylls are called necessary pigments so mainly antenna and reaction center reaction center is the chlorophyll a here it is a p700 that chlorophyll a is a p680 thank you thank you to all